This is the system implementation. We click on the process return and we all in one. We go through a succession of steps. We have some messages to give us some warnings. Once the processing is completed, we proceed through the return one by one by just clicking on yes in all the messages that appears. You can see the books being produced beneath and save. This is just an indication of where we have reached in the processing. This is the officer's starting page for each day. This is a cumulative for the, till the end of the month. Once all the processing are produced in three folders, one to three, one for faxing, one for mailing, and one for returns to the control unit. We are going to check now how the mails and faxes are sent to the Outlook recipient. We print a hard copy first and we have a script to detect the printers install and send it to the printers attached as default. Once so one all files that need to be printed or printed, we proceed to mailing all relevant documents by pressing the mail button. It gives us a warning to open Outlook first, which is not a priority, but it's it avoids some bugs sometimes. We check in the Outlook, Outlook Outbox to find that the 35 documents are uh, present in the Outlook, including all the mails and the fax document. All these are sent by pressing the tool send all. This itself we can automate, but it gives us some control to choose when we want to send it. Outlook does have an option to send automatically at a regular interval or once mail or fax are present. We can see that the Outlook send receive dial box is open. There's the fax mail transport receiving. Once fax have been enabled on the system, we can receive or send fax directly on the computer itself and print a copy through a standard printer install. This is quite practical, but in Windows 7, it is quite cumbersome and it doesn't work really flawlessly, quite strangely. We open the fax console, which is not really necessary, but just for seeing how, what is being done in the background. We can delete faxes that have not been sent. There is an option in the fax console to retry after a given number of time and to cancel after maybe free time that the fax have been sent. Once all the mail have been sent, we see that it start to print the, the fax to the fax console and it automatically starts dialing through a modem connected to the PC and it's going to send all the pages. We can define in the fax console to send a covering page or simply send just the fax uh, without a subject, which is quite practical because we have to attach a first covering letter. It depends on what is required, in fact. All the documents are being sent to the fax console. This is really a very slow PC, but normally in, on a fast pension 4 with 4 giga memory, it is lightning fast, really, really fast, this procedure. It is because I'm running the Windows record session, which is slowing down. The, it's already slow PC. And you can see it is in fact a printing task, printing to the fax console. Once all the fax has been, has been sent, um, 
you can see that all the facts have been sent for one office and it's not there.